Hey everyone, this is Candid Ann, and today I'm going to show you guys how I get my twist out done. That's been working for me, and I'm really happy with it. So, finally, I've gotten occasion to actually do this, and so here we go. <clears throat> I've already started my hair off. Um, this side, I'm not going to include. I'm going to try to make this twist out kind of like to the side, okay? <laughs> my hair is stretched out, so... I'm not, fr my hair is not freshly washed. My hair is clean, but it's not freshly washed. I washed it, I put twists inside of it, I let that dry, and then I put a little bit of oil over my hair. I think I used some sweet almond oil, and I retwisted the twist again, and that's how I stretched my hair out. So this is taking those second set of twists out of my hair, and this is what I have left, okay? So for me, this is stretched out hair, because you guys know how my hair really is after the shower, okay? So, my trick is, I do um, twist rolls, okay, but in order to, I don't have like thick hair, and it might seem thick to you guys, but after, like, this is all that I'm left with when it twists, so it really flattens down to just a little bit. So what I do is, I do not use a comb when I'm parting it, because I, I really want a jagged edge here. And so, I, I hope you guys can see this, I started the first one, and I went across in this direction going straight across and that's because when I take them down I want them to naturally fall down I don't want parts because I don't have a whole lot of hair so I'm going to take this one now I'm going to strictly use my hands and I'm going to as you guys I hope you guys can see this I'm going to start with like what feels to me not to be I'm going to like dip down Okay, and then I'm going to come back up with my fingers because I, I want it to be jagged. I don't want to show. And that's the trick that I use in order not to show the, um, the parting. So I'm going to twist it. I'm going to go up and down. I'm going to go up and down with my finger and separate. And so that's what it looks like. It's really the worst part in the whole world. And that's what I want because I don't want to show any separation because... What I'm trying to avoid, by doing this, I'm avoiding using a pick to pick it out because any little manipulation, after I take my twist out, any extra manipulation from my type of hair creates frizz. So I'm trying to create a situation that doesn't need to be picked out, that doesn't need to be separated, that doesn't need any extra manipulation once I take the twist out. I basically want to take the twist out, let them fall where they lie, and leave it alone, okay? So, now that I've got that taken out, I'm going to use my spritz. This is water and Infusium 23, okay? So I'm going to just lightly spritz my hair just to give it a little bit of moisture. And that helps to set it because when your hair is wet, you can, um, it's more elastic and you can kind of just set it a little bit better then. And I'm going to use my favorite butter for my hair type once again. This is Burnt Sugar Pomade by Oyen Handmade. I love this stuff. Um, actually, this is sugars and berries, but either one is the same stuff. Like as I smooth this through my hair, smooth this through my hair, I can see that um, it creates like, it almost, I don't want to say it acts like gel, but it shellacks my hair down where the strands kind of stick together. And I don't want it to be overly, I don't want too much to be in there because I'll just be wasting the product. But that's kind of what I do, and I slick it. Like with my hands like this, just getting it through there. Okay, so since I did the first row like this, okay, going across this way, I'm going to alternate. I'm going to start this one and I'm going to bring it this way. And that's, I'm going to keep doing that from this direction to the next one, from that direction until I reach my entire head, okay? And just going to twist my hair around. Grab this. Now the smaller that I make it, like right here, this is what I'm talking about, is that will determine how fine the twists are. If I go ahead and I make these really big, then I'm going to have bigger definition. And this much hair came out. Not much at all. So I'm going to continue doing the entire head until my entire head... Um, it's finished, and I'll come back and show you what that looks like. 
So I'm almost finished with my hair and I got into a section I kind of want to show you if you run into this problem what you do about it. So I've got this little dip in my hairline and that's just the way my natural hairline is. So these two pieces aren't actually connecting, okay? So when I twist this part, when I get to the end, I'm just going to keep twisting it as if it was a two-strand twist and I'm going to pick back up when I get to this section right here, okay? So I'm going to try to show you this. And now that I've gotten to here, I'm just going to twist this. As you can see, it's not a whole heap of hair, just a small amount. We're going to twist it until I have enough, enough length to connect this part. And I'm just going to... And the reason why I'm doing this is because the more that I keep this twisted, the more it will stay taut and the more definition I'll have because my hair is very kinky. It likes to, um, as you can tell here, this, you know, it'll stretch. So the more I have in my twist, the more it will be taut and the more definition I'll have. And so that's how I connect it. As you can see, I alternated, so, you know, it went this way, then that way, then this way. And the reason why I did that is because whenever you start your twist, when you start at the base right here, that part is always the one that's like most defined because there's a little bit of hair. It's getting coiled up all the way around. And as you keep going, you're adding hair, it gets fatter and fatter and fatter. But when I end it right here, this is just a regular twist. So there's no, like this, it's being held from here to the end. But right here, there's a little bit of springiness. So this isn't going to be as tightly wound up or as defined as the part that's held within the roll. So in order to alleviate like having not poofiness on one side and one side being well defined, I kind of alternate so that, you know, if this side is very well defined and this is a little bit poofy, then I got some good definition over here and it kind of just blends in all together so that no part, you get what I'm saying? That one part doesn't look more defined than the other because everything's going in one direction. Okay guys, so I did my makeup because I'm running a little bit late and I just want to show you guys how I'm going to take this down and style my hair. So I'm going to start from the back, and I'm going to basically just unravel, but I'm not going to do any separation because when you twist it like this, um, you do it really small, so you don't have to really separate, and that's how I avoid frizz, okay? So I hope this is in frame. I'm going to just let this fall right where it is, and each piece that comes out, I just let it fall. And that's the first row. So as you can see, I've got lots of definition here. I don't have to separate it because it's already falling down. And then I go on to this side. Okay. Now, you see these are a little fatter. These are a bit fatter than what's on this side. So... So when I take it down, I don't have to separate. Just let them fall.
me being in a rush, this didn't come out exactly the way that it normally does, but I think you guys can get a really good idea of how this comes out. As you can tell, I don't have to, um, there's no parts in my head, which is what all the zigzagging was for. Okay. <laughs> so this is what I came up with. I think this is going to be my good side right here. Alrighty, let's get these peas. I guess that's pretty much it. I will uh, put my lipstick on and uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so thanks guys for watching. Take care.